So you can consider this a pretty quick Instapage review video where what I'm gonna do is actually go over the steps and kind of walk you through the process of creating a standard landing page and setting up a split test because those are obviously you know some of the biggest things that come along with Instapage. But aside from that, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the description further down below, I'll put a link to my full Instapage review post where I actually go a little bit more in depth. This is pretty much going to be the Cliff Notes version just so you can also see an actual visual demo because a lot of times, you know, seeing is a good thing. So I'm gonna start off with the standard landing page. Anytime you go to create a new landing page, you're gonna come up with these three different sections, which obviously can always change because Instapage is always changing around their, you know, process for getting started with landing pages. Uh, there's the one on the left, and of course you have the AMP landing pages. This is only going to be for the enterprise um, plan, which you can see right here. I only got the initial one, so I can't currently test this out, but it's pretty much li lightning fast mobile pages compliant with Google AMP, but have some code and feature limitations. Okay. Either way, in a nutshell, very fast landing pages. And of course, if you had a file, you can upload it here to pretty much get your landing page up and running much quicker. And of course you have all the different templates. This is also going to be helpful because you can see what they specifically look like. And let's go over here. And we can actually filter them based upon product sales, special promo, trial signup, demo request, asset download, webinar registration, event registration, uh, and a bunch more, which I'm not gonna name off because you can see them right there. So for example, when it comes to product sales, there's going to be a few, not a ton. In fact, these on the top here, I'm pretty sure are brand new. They look simple, but the best part about them is that they're templates. They should be kind of simple because you're going to want to go in there and obviously edit things. So for example, this would mostly be about using a template that you like. For example, if you like this one, you would go in here and either edit your picture, change it around, obviously your headline. Maybe if you have a pricing section right here, you can do that. Same thing with the rest of them, but I'm going to scroll through very quickly. Yeah, I believe these five, the three here and the two here are going to be newer. Once again, there's a few more when it comes to sales templates. Uh, very simple, very basic, but in my opinion, simple usually tends to do the best, okay? Let's go to all so you can see a very wide variety of them. Uh, as you can see, those were the sales. This is one where it's gonna be safe for like a discount or registering now, that could be for a webinar. This is going to be safe for an app. As you can see, there's a big picture of like a, a phone there, maybe an iPhone. This could be for download our awesome app. Regardless of if it's going to be an app or not, this can pretty much be, you know, just lead generation. Once again, this looks like lead generation, lead generation once again, app, and so on and so forth. I'll scroll through a little quicker just so you can kind of get a good idea of them. Once again, I love this simple one. So I'm going to actually go back up and click on this one or not click on it. What you can actually do is preview it. So I'm going to do that just to, you know, see how it looks. Then you can do desktop or mobile. So pretty standard when it comes to lead generation. Let's look at the mobile aspect of it. Okay. Once again, let's go back to desktop. Either way, I like this layout, so let's use this one for kind of the demo when it comes to the Instapage uh, drag and drop builder slash editor. Oh yeah, and one more step, we gotta name it, so awesome landing page. Create, All right, and since I'm starting from scratch, pretty much what I wanna do here is just kind of show you there's one more step before actually editing it. There are integrations when it comes to like Google Analytics and the Facebook uh, Pixel, as you can see here. So Facebook Pixel and it's the Google Tag Manager, excuse me, I was incorrect when it comes to that. Either way, uh, next you have form integrations when it comes to a few things that you can integrate with. I'm not gonna go into that now. They do have quite a few integrations, but aside from that, leads notification is pretty much you get an email anytime you get a new lead, which I'm not gonna go through. Let me just go back over. And last but not least, you have search and social. This is gonna make your landing page look spiffy anytime you share on one of these platforms. For example, you have the title, the keywords, and of course, like the picture. Uh, adding a picture really helps because people like pictures on social media, probably get more click-throughs and so on and so forth. You can also hide it from search engines if you like. But either way, let's finally get to the edit design process. So I've tested out a lot of landing page builders and softwares and tools and so on and so forth. And one thing that I'm always looking for is pretty much simplicity and what the learning curve is going to be. When it comes to me, one of the most painful things when it comes to software is that if it's really difficult to use. I started online back when HTML was very popular and then it went on to like optimize press and then it just you know, kept getting better and better and better. So I remember the initial pain of, you know, having to create so many different landing pages, having to try and get them optimized for mobile and just like the aches and pains that come along with it. So when I look at software, I want it to be as simple as possible. And when it comes to Instapage, this certainly passes the test of simplicity. Uh, and I don't say that lightly. It is actually very simple to use. It's probably up there when it comes to ClickFunnels in terms of simplicity. Uh, those are probably two of the most simple ones. Maybe Kartra up there. Like I say, I test out a lot of these, but uh, kind of going through, it is about you see what you want to do, you drag it, you drop it, you move it, you edit it. 
first and foremost on the left, we have all the blocks. This is going to be the Insta blocks. This is their trademark term for pretty much creating different sections of your landing page. The cool thing about this is that by utilizing these, you can just drag and drop a specific uh, element in there and then edit it from there. I'll get into that a little after. Next are headlines, some of the basic stuff, paragraphs, forms, buttons, images, videos, uh, boxes, circles, a few more lines, countdown timers as well, and so on and so forth. On the right, you're gonna have some more specifics when it comes to analytics. Page background is nice in case you just wanna edit that all right here. Then of course you have fonts, conversion goals. You got some room for that fancy JavaScript and HTML stuff, which I personally hate, but hey, since it's there, there is also a undo or a back button, which is awesome. I've had to use landing pages when they never had that, and it was really annoying. You couldn't undo the mistake you did. You deleted something and you got to start from scratch. No bueno. Okay. But let's just pretty much look at the simplicity of using this. This is just a basic logo. Let's say I didn't want that there. Click on it, delete it, done. Okay. This, we have something that we want to talk about, a big headline. So like get your cheat sheet today. Okay. All I did was like uh, double click on it really quick. This could be our headline. Okay. I'm just going to do control A. Your awesome headline one okay and also let's say we are doing lead generation for i don't know whatever it's going to be and we don't want all these forms here so we're going to click on this once and we're going to do edit okay and notice they'll have a bunch of these here for example maybe we're not going after companies or maybe we're going to be going after you know our, our target audience is going to be like very small businesses where they probably don't have this massive company. So we can actually delete this. Okay. Maybe we don't want the phone number because that once again is going to just pretty much uh, lower our conversions. The more fields that we have here, the, the less conversions we're going to get. So we're going to delete that. And once again, excuse me, there we go. And then once again, we have full name. We don't necessarily need full name. We're not doing a webinar here. So we just want to get the emails so we can have the highest conversions possible. Okay. Let's click here. Let's do edit your best email. Or we could do enter. Enter your best email. Let's save. And just like that, we have that. We can also, what I really like about this, it is a true drag and drop builder. Like once you have this, you can just pretty much put it anywhere you want. So I'm gonna put that near that, and then I'm gonna drag both of these down. This I can put right here so it's kind of centered, or I can move that a little bit more. You get the idea, but a lot of these, sometimes you kind of feel like you're locked into place when you're utilizing your drag and drop editor. I really like that about this. It's just simply drag it wherever you want, use it and so on and so forth. Once again, if I want to edit this, I just double click on it a couple times. Maybe I want to make these capital, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. That's as you can see, it's pretty simple to do, uh, going down here. So maybe we have a demo. Maybe we're going to be giving away a cheat sheet that also comes with free training. So maybe we want to put a video here, you know, let's click on this. It's going to show up and what we can do can move this up, can move this up can even move this here. And since we have a video there, we don't need the play symbol. Let's just click on that and delete it. Once again, I'm going to drag this up a little and maybe I want this little thumbnail to be bigger. Okay. And we can center it right in the middle of the page and just about right there. And let's put that on the left side. Maybe you want to move it up a little more. Okay. In the past, a lot of landing page builders that I've used, you have to kind of go into the settings and it's done on more of a numbers basis where it's like, you want to move it up or down and you got to do like say 20. Okay. Maybe I got to make it lower. So let's move it 19, 18. This you literally just drag and drop. It's great. It's beautiful. Uh, I really like it. And I did say I was going to talk about the Insta blocks. So let's go here to Insta blocks. And they pretty much have a ton of templates, very similar to the templates that you would be choosing for a landing page. So in here, as you can see, there's all the blocks, but they're going to be either specific bars or sections. For example, like they have top bar, they have headers. Okay. Like the full header section. Okay. Maybe you wanted to use that. These are going to be really helpful if you're starting from scratch. Okay. Cause you can pretty much just utilize these, edit them, add your stuff. You got the image sections. Okay. Like this is very, um, similar. Like if you're using a WordPress website, like a lot of sometimes plugins that you have to pay for will come with things like this, where it allows you to kind of showcase your images or your videos in a very specific and unique way. Okay. Video. As we talked about before, this is just another great way of utilizing video where it's not just going to be like the thumbnail of the YouTube video, whatever it's going to be showcase. 
Once again, it could be like a uh, image in something else or maybe an image in a quote or whatever it's going to be. Speaking of quotes, we have right here another spiffy way to display your quotes, which is kind of cool. Once again, we have logos and pricing. This is going to be very helpful if you're selling something, okay? I love pricing tables. They make it very easy to kind of choose of like the features, the benefits, the pros and the cons. I use those a lot personally just for like my websites and stuff. Features, benefits, once again, another great way of comparing things. Similar to pricing, but with this, it's going to be obviously <laughs> features and benefits. Then we have steps uh, team about us location call to action let's see what they have for those once again very simple but you can always edit any of these to your liking lead generation testimonials which is very similar to the quotes that we talked about right and let's just look at product sales as you can see there's a lot of them down there product reviews contact us table and so on and so forth but this is pretty much a way to help you create your landing pages a little bit faster, which I like, because I think uh, simplicity and speed is also another good thing. The more tools that you have necessarily in order to help you get your landing pages up and running, the faster you can get them out there, the faster you can launch them, send traffic to them, and overall you can start seeing you know, results, testing it out, split testing, which I'm gonna get to, uh, and overall that's always a good thing, okay? So let's exit out of this. Let's say this was our awesome headline, this was our awesome landing page. I'm not gonna get into the super specifics. Obviously you've seen how to pretty much edit a lot of the things in there. So let's click on save. And then what we're gonna do is create a B test, which they refer to as experiments when it comes to um, their builder, so to speak. Okay, so let's go to experiments here. Okay, and before, they, before I do that, what I need to do is actually publish my landing page. So I'm gonna go over to landing pages. Okay, and when I click on this, we're going back to this screen here. I can actually publish the experience, so to speak. And what I'm gonna do, obviously you can do a custom domain, you can do through WordPress. So yes, they do integrate with WordPress. You can use Drupal or even a demo page. For this, just to make things quick, I'm gonna do the demo page. Okay, and so we have awesome landing page dot page demo dot co. Let's publish, confirm. Okay, so now that our page is actually published, which is very important, let's create our experiment, which is going to be the A-B split testing. So let's just say, you know, split test one. We are now scientists, so the hypothesis is pretty much going to be what you think is going to, you know, what the results are going to be. What do you think? You're going to be split testing two landing pages. So I'm going to say, I think the winner will be, you know, variation one or A. Okay. So let's click on the awesome landing page that we created, default experience and create. Okay. What I like about this is that it's probably one of the easiest split testing tools that I've used. I've used quite a few of them, even on things that aren't exactly landing page builders like ClickMagic, uh, where a lot of times you gotta do a few more steps, but let me show you just how simple this is, okay? So we have our first variation A. This is the landing page that we created. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it, okay? Let's call it variation B, perfect. And what we need to do now is edit this, okay? This is the control. This is what's usually going to stay the same, okay? We wanna, we wanna see if we can make a better variation than this. So I'm gonna go to edit right here for variation B. And this is our duplicated version of the first landing page. Now, uh, a little very helpful tip when it comes to split testing in your landing pages, make sure that you just change one really big thing. And when it comes to landing pages, it's usually going to be the headline, all right? When you start changing so many different factors, you're not gonna know which variable is the one that ended up causing you to have better or worse uh, conversions. So for example, let's say everything was going to be the same, except this headline would be different. Let's just call it two so we know that we're differentiating it from it. So uh, the first one might be like how to increase your sales and build your online business. The next one might be like how to grow your online business while increasing your sales. Sometimes it's a very similar headline, just spoken in a different way. Sometimes you're using slightly different words, you know, how to do something without doing something else. That's the power of split testing, okay? Okay, so we have your awesome headline too. Like I said, that's just gonna be something different. Let's click on save and continue. Now we are back at the split test page. All we need to do is click on split evenly and we wanna do 50-50. Yep, okay, and then start experiment. Yes, and it says pretty much just don't uh, change it when you're doing it so you don't affect any of your results. Hit start now. And just like that, it is published. So what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get an even amount of traffic sent to variation A and variation B. And one more tip when it comes to split testing, make sure that you send at least a significant amount of traffic to each. Like don't send like 20 visits to one and 20 to the other. That's not enough data to get a nice enough winner. Obviously, depending on your ad spend or the amount of traffic you're gonna be sending to it, sometimes 100 can be a good amount, you know, to certainly qualify a page and sometimes a thousand could be more like it's really going to depend. All I got to say is that 
the amount of traffic that you think you should send, send a little bit more just because it's simply going to help you get the best possible outcome, okay? And then after you're done, what you would do is click on end experiment and you can pretty much figure out which one did the best. It'll obviously show the conversion rate and so on and so forth. You can pick it, you can end it now, and then once you find a winner, you can split test between that one as well. Like I said, it's very simple to walk through. Like I didn't need any tutorials when I was first starting to test it out. And I like that because once again, it's very slim, simple and there is always going to be customer support if you have any questions when it comes to that. So just having a look at some of the templates when it comes to wrapping this up, all in all, I do think Instapage is a, a great solid landing page builder. The fact of the matter is that they are 100 100% focused on landing pages and they do it pretty well. There's a few pros to them that I really like such as their drag and drop editor is very simple to use as you saw like it, it's not something where you're gonna have to like learn code or take too long to figure out that's very helpful that's very beneficial that will save a lot of stress and headaches uh, I talked about previously that they are focused 100% on landing pages which is always a plus that means they can put more effort and focus into improving and you know obviously building upon those in the future they also work very nicely when it comes to pay-per-click advertising I didn't talk about that too much in this but there are a lot of other features that are very beneficial when it comes comes to marketers that are going to be using PPC. So on the other hand, there might be a few cons compared to the pros when it comes to this, but you know, most software does. In fact, their cons aren't that big of a deal. Uh, the fact of the matter is that like Instapage might not be for you if you're like a super newbie. Uh, and also that kind of goes hand in hand that it's probably not also the cheapest landing page builder in the market, okay? Now, in my opinion, uh, I feel like their targeted audience, their perfect audience is going to be someone who at least has like an immediate amount of experience when it comes to online marketing, specifically for the fact that they are integrated and they do a lot of cool things when it comes to pay-per-click ads advertising, okay? Usually someone who's just getting started might not want to shell out the money when it comes to a landing page builder or even start running PPC ads depending on their niche and so on and so forth. So anyone who has at least some type of experience can certainly get something out of this. However, it's probably not going to be the best for newbies. Nevertheless, it is a great example of a landing page builder focusing 100% on landing pages and they do it pretty well with an assortment of templates, a variety of great features, and of course the simplicity of a nice drag and drop editor. If you'd like to actually try them out yourself, I will put a link down below in the description. We can click that and actually get a free 14 day trial. You can pretty much run through and do exactly what I did in this video just to see that it's perfect for you. Okay. And aside from that, I want to say thank you for watching. That pretty much wraps up this Insta page review. I actually thought it was going to be a quick one, but lo and behold, uh, uh, sometimes I like getting into these reviews, but that should about do it. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy Insta page as much as I did.